Hello there. Um, I would like to teach some people a very simple way in order to make a Python script into a application that is instantly accessible, which you can put into the dog. So basically, make an official application, which um, looks much cooler. And you can add your own icon. And uh, yeah, so let's get started first of all. So, in order to do this, we're going to use py2app. Um, so, first, we need our main Python script, which in my case is test app dot py. Python. So this is my script that we're going to use, and after that, we need to create a setup file. So you make a new file, save it as setup.py. So um, this is your setup file. Um, you can pause it here and copy this. I will also try to add this code in the description so you can just copy and paste it just make sure that you have the right um, spaces um, so for icon file you can remove this for now um, once I'm at the part where we make the icon you can just add this back um, I'm gonna remove this for now Um, well, no, I'm not gonna remove this. You can remove this, so it's gonna look like this for now. So, when we come later to the part where we make the standalone program, we add this back. Data files um, if you use any images or files in your Python script, you need to include this here. So, in my case, I use two images, so I add them here. If you don't use anything, just Keep it like this. Empty. So save this. So we're gonna start off by um, installing a virtual environment. So pip install virtual env. Press enter. I've already done this, so you're going to see a different message if you haven't already installed this. We're then going to uh, make virtual env inherit globally installed packages. So, virtual env, venv, system, site, packages, um, press enter. Uh, we wait for it to finish installing. So now that that is done, we have to activate our virtual environment. This is done by source bnv dot slash bin slash activate. So now we are in our virtual environment. In this, we are going to install py2 app so we're gonna do this by using version 0 0.13 because it is known that a higher version of this is causing a few problems so I use this one which per worked perfectly fine install this now pip install py2 app version 0 0.13 enter I've already done this, so you're gonna see something else than this. So now that we've done this, <coughs> we're gonna run py2 app. So first off, you're gonna do this under alias mode. So 
just to see if everything is fine, everything's working perfectly, if there's any error in the app, and so on. So let's do this. Type in. Okay, type in Python setup dot py py to app. This is the alias mode. Press enter. And that's done. So to run this, you're gonna do so yeah, this creates these two folders in your directory. So you're gonna run this list. Um, your application name. So in my case it's test app dot app slash contents slash Mac or S slash test app without the dot app this time. Now press enter. So yeah. It runs my program. As you can see here. It's running. Um so now our aim is to make this to make this into a standalone application, so make an icon and so on. We're going to delete these. Um, <clears throat> so you will go onto this website, iConvertIcons.com/online. Um, with this, you can convert a PNG file to a ICNS file, which is what we need for today. I've already done this, so you choose here a PNG file, it will convert it, and you download the file. Put this into the main directory, and this is mine, so I named it Logo App. Which in setup is also logo app dot icns. This is the icon file. So now we will make the standalone application. And for that, we do Python setup dot py py to app, but this time without the dash a press enter and now we wait until it's built So, now it's done, we go into the dist folder, and here we go, this is our application, we can add this to the dock if you want to, so here we go, and we can run it, here we go, it runs perfectly, so, that's about it, and um, I hope everything was clear. If not, you can hit me up with a question and I would appreciate a comment on this. Um, thank you so much. Bye.